G'day, my name's Bert Hart. I'm from Equip2 Screening and Crushing. We're here today to talk about the Keystrack B4 Jaw Crusher. So here at Equip2, what we do is we um, help quarry owners enhance productivity and profitability and lower risk. So the first thing I want to talk about today is um, we want to start from the ground up. So the, you might say a foundation. Everyone likes to have a good foundation. So the structure of the Keystrack B4 Crusher is um, made of Domex steel. Domex is a type of a hard opt. So reducing your transport weights, but also increasing the strength of the unit. Also part of that structure, we've got the conveyor structure. It's actually made of stainless steel. The reason that Keystrack do this area, the section of the conveyor that's based under the magnet out of stainless is that's not pulling upon the magnetic fields, therefore decreasing the life of the magnet. So the magnet here we've got here is 600 gauze, giving you extra pull. So for the recycling industry, um, there's no arguing with that steel. So at the end here, we've got the conveyor here. That's actually split and pivots at this point here. So that there minimizes your transport length taking it about two meters off the length of the crusher. So that's all driven hydraulically from the machine, no manual requirements needed. So here we've got the, the hopper walls. So the hopper walls are lined with hard ox wear plates, so 450 grade. Then through the feeder here, we've got hard ox replaceable part. So that can be um, unfastened and replaced with new ones, so that's a high wear item. And then through the double deck pre-screen, we've got exactly the same on the side walls. The other unique feature to the Keystrack B4, it's got the double deck pre-screen, so it's the largest in its class at 2.3 by 1100. The idea of a pre-screen is to give more agitation to the product and either pulling the product out, so as a gap 40, or bypassing underneath the jaw crusher. So the idea of this is, so the jaw crushers are designed to crush rocks, they're not designed to crush fines. So when you have too much fines in a jaw crusher, it puts them under too much pressure, too much stress, and increases your wear. So minimizing that wear being, brings more productivity time and less downtime. So we're here now in the engine unit area, up on the catwalk. So we're running the Cummins engine in this model. So for the hydraulic system, Keystrack run a load sense hydraulic system which is on the piston pump. The reason they go to this, it's a more of an expensive option, but it's lowering the fuel usage. So the Keystrack B4 does about 19 to 22 litres an hour, depending on the, the rock it's been fed. So it's, it's, it's a very low fuel usage, saving cost. The engine's very easy to maintain, everything's accessible, filters, and for draining your oil, it's done at ground level. So you plug in your hose with a quick coupler and drain your oil. So therefore lowering your risk and making it easy to, to maintain. Going back to the piston pump idea, the, the other feature that this has is with this remote here, I can walk the crusher from the cab. So while the machine's actually crushing, we can still move it along the ground. So key strength to a mobile crusher and it's a, it's a truly a mobile crusher. The other systems, you've got to hop off the machine, down to the panel, change up your hydraulics, and then back up to your dirt again. So Keystrack tries to take away the, the risk factor of the operator injuring himself. Less times he has to hop in and out of his digger, the better it is. This is head office of the machine. Everything's done from here and from the remote. Keystrack run the Riley Tech panel, so that's completely dustproof and waterproof. Um, and the great feature to this is the automation. So the pressing the one button, the whole machine starts up in sequence. So from that, I can adjust my feeder speed, my pre-screen speed, and also stop and start my feeder, and stop and start the machine. Keystrack run a system called the non-stop jaw system. What that is, the jaws are actually, um, if you have anything that goes inside the jaws, like a digger tooth, or an idler, or an unbreakable object, the jaws actually sense that load and they'll open up in three different stages. So what that'll do is that'll drop that unbreakable object out, close back to the close side setting and then carry on crushing. The other thing that it does is every 50 hours it'll, it'll stop the feeder and then the jaws will come in and touch and then it'll recalibrate. So to take into account of any wear that's happened during that 50 hour period. 
The other feature that it will do is it'll allow us to adjust the jaw settings while it's in operation. So if I'm sitting up in my excavator, I can see that I'm doing a GAT 150 and it's coming out a little bit too tight. Um, I can open those jaws up while I'm still crushing. What we've got here is a device for changing our jaw plates. These bolts here, they swing off and the whole hopper actually hydraulically slides back 600 mils. The purpose of that is to give us more access to the back of the fixed jaw to be able to change our jaw plates. So the operator or the mechanic can actually get down in there and change all those bolts out. So we're not filling out a permit for tight spaces um, and it's making it easier for our men on the ground and improving our uptime.